Lord have mercy. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes. They call him the hip hop chaplain. He's mm -hmm. opened up for Beyonce, Lauryn Hill, Nelly, and more. But along with his music, he has a message. Please welcome Sir the Baptist. Yes. How are you? Good, yeah. Thank you for having me. I yes, it. we are so. Down here crying to the <laughs> You're going to bring us back up. Yeah. I yeah. hope, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful story, though. Thank you. Thank it, you. Wasn't it great? It yeah. was an excellent story. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. So let's talk about you, sir. Uh, a lot of people describe your music as having. One foot in the street, one foot in the church. Come yeah. on, how why is that? Well, you have to do that. If you want to reach the, the, the kids of today, you have to have something that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. and growing up, I grew up in uh, uh, the hood where you have the church and it's right between projects. Yes. And you kind of got to you know, figure this out and find out uh, life and place your pieces together. You yeah. love hip hop music, but you're in the church all the time. Mm -hmm. So as a preacher's kid, I had to learn to balance. I know yeah. that's right, because you can, you can love more than more than two genres of music. And absolutely, it's absolutely. about bringing the good news. Absolutely. Now, you left your corporate America job, even slept in your car for a while to pursue music full time. Why was this important to you? Well, I mean, I knew I had to use my voice at some point. I knew that I would have to do something a little bit more than what my dad did. My mm -hmm. dad was just a preacher in a church. I knew I would have to take this message or the message of hope yeah. and take it to everybody yeah, in the world. Absolutely. So I've been able to take it to, you know, performing in front of Beyonce or taking mm -hmm. it to Lollapalooza where mm -hmm. my voice is needed and yeah. it's time to talk about important things. And, and you, you talked about your family. You have a big family. 22 yeah. brothers and sisters. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. little parents were turned. <laughs> they were turned. They were turned. So how did coming from a big family shape your life? Well, you get a chance to see all your other brothers and sisters make mistakes and accomplish things. Yes. And you learn and you take those pieces and you move forward and you try to learn from them and become a better person. So hopefully you can give it on to the nephews and nieces. These, and stuff a like whole that. bunch of them too. Choir. Right, right. You got a whole choir. <laughs> Now, you are from Chicago, Chi-Town. Well, yeah. I've had you. So, and, and we know that you're a preacher's kid. Yeah. But how does being from Chicago and it being such a mecca for music, how does that affect your storytelling? Well, you know what? You learn, again, you're right, yeah. storytelling. You know, you learn that you have to say something with your voice. You mm -hmm. can't just talk about anything because around the time where I fell in love with hip-hop, I fell in love with storytelling. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but also, there's so much more that's deeper than... Uh, what they tell about Chicago. Yeah. Chicago isn't just a trap or drill scene, yep. but you have Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole yes. House, all of these people that people. came from... Selena Johnson. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly, 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 <laughs> exactly. Right. But, but, you know, we have a rich history yes. in Chicago, and a lot of times that gets skipped over because of all the violence and mm -hmm, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it's, it's about time that we really use our voice and yeah. the story to Absolutely. tell everything. Yeah. Your project, Saint or Sinner. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why did you decide to, to name it? that and, and talk a little bit more about uh, how in depth you were able to get on this particular album. Yeah, I named it Center Center again because the, the goal is to reach uh, the person that's dealing with that and sort of trying to or being forced to mm -hmm. pick between the two. Um, I had a chance to sit down with Stevie Wonder and he said he dealt with the same thing. You know, mm -hmm. at some point he couldn't go into church and perform because mm -hmm. they said he was the secular kid. You know oh, what I wow. mean? So <laughs> it's like in order to do this, in order to really push this forward, you have to be able to have that conversation and ride the middle and say, OK, listen, you know, I'm not going to pick either. Yeah. I'm go. a human. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Huh. Speaking, speaking of your humanity, mm -hmm. you have a, tr a track on your record called God is on her way. Yeah. Huh. Come on, come on now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, but what's cool about it is that it tackles sex trafficking. Absolutely. And um, but you didn't release a music video behind it, so you released a short film. Talk mm. to us about why the short film instead of just a video. Mm. Well, because I wanted to say more. And Chicago mm -hmm. and many other places are hubs for human trafficking. Right. And it's not really conversation. I didn't know Chicago was a hub. Yeah. 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 We yeah. know Atlanta is yeah. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a bunch of different My places goodness. where it's you know. Kids are gone. New York as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to you have to speak up on this. And in hip hop, we're not really having this conversation. Yeah. We're not having the tough conversations yeah. that we need to have in order to push the court, culture forward and uh, talk about things and bring, build build awareness. And and if you look at the short film as well, is it deals with how to build romance and and look at 
at hip hop from not just a a, 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 a sort of pushy yeah. guy way, but more so but a, a romantic yeah. love yes. and yes. kindness. You know, Good. yeah. Thank you for being thoughtful. Yes. Thank you for being thoughtful with <laughs> your voice. Talented. Yes, thank and just you. using thank your platform you. beautifully. We thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. You are amazing. <laughs> this guy also got the tap from Jay Z. Okay. <laughs> you can download his project Sater Center on Spotify and streaming services everywhere.